UndergroundHipHop.com, Super Rock and DJ on and on. Austin edition, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit like a masterpiece theater. And all we're missing is some uh, thick bound leather books. In the house right about now, member of Lightheaded. Of course, we got my man Omega Watts in the house. Chilling out. How you doing? First of all, you're a kid uh, from Brooklyn. It must have been some crazy culture shock going from Brooklyn to Portland. What was that adju adjustment like? Well, actually, the quick thing is I didn't go directly there first. I went to Florida. That, it wasn't a culture shock, but it was a still... It was a bit. It was different. The twang, the style, the, everything, the, the feeling. Cause my parents are Jamaican, so it was like they had been in New York a long time and they wanted that, and I'm the last kid. But after leaving Florida to go to Portland, it was cool, but it was still different. But it was like Portland just had something to it that's kept me there. I've been there like seven years, which is crazy. Are your, are your parents like first generation, like come from Jamaica? How do they feel about their son being a rapper? They don't even understand it. And they don't, yeah, they just, they're always just like, I hope you're eating well and you're doing good. That's it. Like, they could care less. They're like, all right. They're like, okay, you're doing that. Just make sure you're working and, and paying your bills. That's it. That's, like, that's their concern. So Now, your album currently doing very well in the store. What's happening? Right. Uh, talk a little bit about for the few cats that haven't copped it, what they can what they can expect on that album. Well, for you cats out there listening, um, I mean, for me as a producer, it's like I'm not just trying to, at least with this album, I didn't just try to make like a straight hip hop boom bap classic album. I just wanted to make some of the sounds have this reminiscent feel of like the old days as well as expand on just the musical side of me being a producer not just a beat maker you know so I worked with musicians you got a little afro beat little Brazilian Latin flavor in there um, aside from that it's just like raw honest music you know um, if you appreciate music from every type of aspect from the influences of hip-hop funk soul jazz even rock everything it's like you'll get a little bit of that on the album as well as just you know trying to be as original as possible as well and then just share me who i am you know so now of course you're in the lightheaded crew and you make beats and you're also a solo artist do you ever get into conflict with damn man this beat is fucking hot i want this shit for myself like, how, how do y'all pick the beats that you provide for the group? Um, well, with the crew, it's easy because, of course, we're all using it if, if I'm laying something down. But, like, as being a solo artist, too, the funny thing was, even back in the day, I never really, like, my MCing is like, I never focus on that much. I just freestyle forever. Like, I didn't really write a lot, a lot till, like, 2000 because I was just freestyle and made tracks. But... Now where I'm at, it's like, I remember back then, I'd make a beat and I'm like, yo, I want to rhyme on this. The same way as you said. But now it's like, I'm at a point where now, I'm, I'm like, if I make a dope beat, I just want someone ill on it. And as long as they'll compliment the track, I'm happy, you know? Because it's like I'm trying to decline my MC into just saying what I got to say when I, when I want or feel like saying it. But like, it, it's easier that way now. Where I think before, yeah, it'd be like, yo, this beat's hot, I'm going to hold this in the background, and they probably won't hear it. That's how it used to be. Well, what do you make your beats on? What do you use? Um, I use the M uh, MPC 2000 before the XL, and I recently got a 2500. I got Pro Tools for, like, not cutting up, just adding any musical sides, Mad Records, two 1200s, um, some synthesizers, keyboards, a Rhodes. Yeah, just keyboards and wax and, and my tables, you know. And now, uh, of course, what's next? What can we expect? You got to keep it moving. What, what do you got planned next? Well, um, Lightheaded, we're working on this third uh, al group album, I mean, called um, Lo-Fi Heights. And I'm providing a good amount of the beats. Almost, it ends up being almost half. And then... Um, I'm doing a project with this girl named Reagan Fike. She's a vocalist. She was on What's Happening, doing a lot of background vocals, kind of just to get her, her name somewhat there, out there that people knew we worked together. But I'm producing a whole joint for her, which will be on a soulful hip-hop vibe. But nothing sounding cheesy R&B. She's like a hip-hop head, as well as like a classic just soul lover of music, you know? So there's that, and I'm collabing with this dude from a rock band, on we're just making something crazy that we're producing together because we both share a lot of similar likenesses for hip-hop and and like psych psych rock and whatnot 
and funk. So like, I don't know what it's gonna be, but that's what's on the horizon. Really a lot of production aside from Lightheaded. You know, and then who knows, the solo may be later, later, but I'm, I'm leaving that in the back for now and just kind of focus on some beats. Cool, and that's what it is, man. We got Omega Watts. His parents are proud of him. He's eating, he's earning a living. He's out in Austin, Texas, doing his thing. Look out for Lightheaded. Look out for my man Omega and all that, man. UndergroundHipHop.com, Austin, Texas, y'all.